briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2016 lawsuit, Americold Realty Trust v. Conagra Foods, Inc., the Supreme Court of the United States, considered the legal factors determining the citizenship of an unincorporated entity, like a real estate investment trust, REIT. The lawsuit stemmed from a contract dispute and a fire at an underground warehouse owned by Americold Realty Trust, a REIT. The corporations affected, whose food storage was destroyed in the fire, sought compensation from Americold. Initially, the district court took the case, ruling in favor of the warehouse owner, Americold. However, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals disagreed and found that the parties did not prove they were citizens of different states, a prerequisite for the court to accept jurisdiction. This disagreement led to the involvement of the Supreme Court, which was tasked to clarify the confusion surrounding the legal citizenship of unincorporated entities. In their decision, the Supreme Court clarified that unlike humans and corporations who can claim their own citizenship, entities like a REIT adopt the citizenship of their members, including the shareholders. Specifically, in the Americold case, the court concluded that since there was no information available on the citizenship of the REIT's shareholders, the parties engaged in the lawsuit could not establish that they were citizens of different states. They upheld the Tenth Circuit's judgment, delineating a crucial distinction between the citizenship of corporations and entities like trusts. <laughs> What you're looking for? Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.